All right, y'all. So we're back in Simeo. Lesson 13 model start is the file. And this uh, system uh, has four different entity types. And uh, this is modeling an emergency department. So, you know, the current methodology, if we were to run this, let's see, it's a 5,000 speed factor. I'll put it at like mm, 50. Okay. If I run this, you'll see that entity starts to show up. Let's even slow that down a little bit more, like 20. Entities are starting to show up, but there are different entity types. You wouldn't necessarily want urgent or severe patients. You see that that red patient that was behind a green. You wouldn't necessarily want patients of higher severity to be waiting in line behind patients that have lower severity. So if somebody shows up with a cold, you don't want them necessarily to go ahead of somebody that has a head wound. So I'll we'll stop this. We have our different uh, model entities, and I also showed you how to create a data table. There is a priority column here in this patient data table in the data tab. I want the server to reference this priority for the patients by type. So let's go back to facility, and if I look in the server block if I click on that my ranking rule here for the process logic first in first out that's fair but not when we're dealing with an emergency department let's go to largest value first and it is going to reference entity dot priority okay so if I run this it's going to do the entity dot priority right well wait I'm starting to see the behavior down here and you're going to see that this is not actually adjusting the prioritization um, if this runs for long enough, you'll be able to see that it is not properly prioritizing. Well, how do I properly prioritize? Well, let's go back and stop it. If I click on routine, what is routine's priority? Well, oh, it's 1.0. Let's click on moderate. Its priority is 1.0. Oh, these are hard coded in. So now let's click on routine. Instead of 1.0 for the initial priority, Let's in this drop down refer to patient data. That's the table. Dot priority. OK, now I'm going to. Uh, copy this and I'm going to adjust that priority for each of these entity types. So I'm just going to paste it in there. See the initial priority is going to reference the priority. Okay. All right, now let's see if we can see some behavior here where entities are not waiting behind ones of lower priority. Maybe a better way to check this would be if I were to fast forward my model. It's running for 20 days. I should expect in with my tally statistic the wait times to be drastically different. If you look here, routine has the highest average wait time of 339 minutes, whereas urgent has the lowest average wait time. And I think that this indicates that we are having the appropriate prioritization within our model. So that is how you can add in priorities for entities in processing. It comes with the ranking rule, but you also need to have the entities themselves. Let me go back. The entities themselves need to have their prioritization adjusted here in initial priority. All right. I hope that helps. Good luck.